Hello and welcome to another retrospective video of an iconic adventure game franchise. You can find a lot of videos about adventure games in my channel, like the full history videos about Space Quest, King's Quest, Gabriel Knight, Lizzie's Sweet Larry, Loom, Grim Fandango, and many more. You can also find a two-hour documentary on the history of the genre with the rise and fall of the adventure games. If you like the content of my channel, please consider supporting it by subscribing and turning on the notifications for it. You can also consider supporting me by becoming a member of my YouTube channel. There is one membership tier and you will have a lot of benefits like exclusive updates on upcoming videos, you get to watch each new video earlier, you get to decide the topic of upcoming videos and also member exclusive giveaways that will follow. The topic of this video is another Sierra Online franchise. Sievers was a series of first-person horror adventure games inspired by The Seventh Guest, an iconic puzzle adventure game that was released a few years before the first Sievers game. Seventh Guest was developed by Trilobite and created a new subgenre within adventure games, that of the first-person puzzle adventures. It inspired a number of successful franchises, some of which altered adventure games forever, like the case of Myst. There are two games in the Silver series developed and released in the mid-90s. The first Silver's game was a single-player horror adventure game released on CD-ROM by Sierra Online in November of 1995. The plot takes place at Professor Windlenot's Museum of Strange and Unusual, located in Mount Pleasant, Ohio. Professor Windlenot, a British noble and archaeologist, had moved to America to set up his private museum dedicated to his theories on ancient astronauts, hollow earth, Atlantis and cryptozoology. While he was gathering the exhibits of the museum, he mysteriously disappeared. The game's protagonist is a 15-year-old teenager who enters the haunted museum after being dared by his friends. There, he discovers that 15 years earlier, in 1980, a group of high school students had entered the museum and accidentally released 10 trapped human souls from the ceramic exhibits originally found in Moque Valley of Peru. Those spirits, or Ixupi, were associated with chemical materials and elements such as sand or metal. It is the protagonist's task to collect those Ixupi and find out what had really happened to the students and Professor Whittlenot 15 years ago. The game plays in first-person perspective similar to the massively popular Seventh Guest that was released a couple of years before the first Sievers game. The only on-screen feature other than the game's action is a health bar at the bottom of the screen that shows how much life essence the player has or has lost. Life essence is lost when encountering the Ixupi spirits. The same bar also shows the current vessel and lead the player is carrying to capture the respective Ixupi. Unfortunately, only one vessel can be carried at a time, meaning that the player can only capture the respective Ixupi with it before picking up another vessel. When all 10 Ixupis are captured, the player can still roam freely in the museum, reading all the exhibit descriptions in order to gather more points in his score. The game's cutscenes can also be reviewed in a flashback mode to let the player gather hints for progressing the story. Although the game has a lot of full motion video, all dialogues also provide closed captions. The first Sievers game was developed utilizing the 30-bit version of Sierra's Creative Interpreter or SCI. Since it was the company's first game to feature a first-person perspective and 3D modeling, the team struggled for months to utilize all their tools effectively. The game's visuals comprised of scanned watercolors that were later digitally enhanced using Photoshop and the cutscenes used live actors on a green screen. Sievers was the first first-person adventure game by Sierra Online that featured a nameless and unseen silent protagonist instead of a visible player character. Roberta Williams served as the game's creative consultant working on the project in parallel with the development of the first Phantasmagoria game. Sievers received mixed reviews upon its release with praise for its atmosphere and criticism for its story and graphics. It was often compared with Seven Guest and Myst, still though it spawned a sequel. 
Sievers 2, Harvest of Souls, also known simply as Harvest of Souls in Europe, is a horror-themed point-and-click adventure game released in 1997 by Sierra Online for Microsoft Windows and the sequel to the first Sievers game. The game takes place in the deserted sleepy town of Cyclone, Arizona. When the protagonist checks in the local motel, he realizes that his friends, the band Trip Cyclone, have mysteriously disappeared. The motel clerk gives him a message that reads, I have your friends, only a warrior can free them. The player realizes that his friends had left clues about what happened to them and it is his task to collect their 12 player sticks or bajos scattered throughout the town. The player sticks have been hidden by the villain known only as Dark Cloud and the protagonist must uncover his true identity in order to find his friends. The game plays out like its predecessor using the same first-person slideshow interface but with much improved visuals. It also features the Vision 360 system that enables the user to rotate 360 degrees and smoothly scan in all directions. The inventory can also hold multiple items this time, contrary to the single item of the first game. A puzzle editor was also included to let the player create their own puzzles and then share with friends. Roberta Williams was not involved in the production of the second Sievers game, which was helmed by Wendy Alby. SCI 32 or Sierra's Creative Interpreter version 32 was used again for the development of Harvest of Souls. Sievers 2 received poor reviews upon its release. Critics like the story and visuals but criticized the game for being merely a puzzle game that involved lots of mouse clicking and leaps of logic to uncover its mystery. That was the full history of the Sievers series of adventure games. Both were impressive visually at their time of release but failed to captivate large audiences as other first-person puzzle adventure games that were quite popular during the mid and late 90s. The problems Sierra faced after the release of the second game and the subsequent bankruptcy of the company doomed any future plans for more sequels as was the case with most of the IPs owned by the once dominant company. Do not forget to watch my many retrospectives on iconic franchises like Loom, King's Quest, Space Quest, Gabriel Knight and more. You can also find my tour documentary on the rise and fall of the genre. If you like the content of my channel, please consider supporting it by subscribing and turning on the notifications for it to know when a new video is up. You can also consider supporting me by becoming a member of my YouTube channel. There is one membership tier and you will have a lot of benefits like exclusive updates on upcoming videos, you get to watch each new video earlier, you get to decide the topic of upcoming videos and also member exclusive giveaways that will follow. We will have the next adventure game video soon. Thank you all for watching.